Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The signature color fills the stand. Carolina Blue. And the Tar Heels are on the field, ready to defend their home turf and believing that the sky is Carolina Blue, so perhaps the divine force is on their side. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. For the first drive. At about the 43-yard line. Well, as the coaches told us, they were happy he got the record, but that's behind them now. They got to get back to work and worry about this week. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point. So when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. He's going to air it long. Can't connect. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 46-yard line, second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. First and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run there. Lee gets seven yards on the play. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. It's second down and about three easy, yards. Easy, easy. Ball on the 18. Takes a hand on, tackled for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. This is the 10th play of the drive. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for now what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. This flag came from the defensive secondary. Let's see what the call is. Looked like the receiver got a little bit too aggressive there. Down. The defender held his ground, and they threw the flag. Right. 
So the penalty puts him back for a first and long. Makes it to the 31. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. From their own 31-yard line, third down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Call it a loss of six yards on the play. That makes it fourth and twelve. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled at the thirty three yard line. at the 20 to the 10 touchdown Tar Heels <laughs> North Carolina has a three point lead and he tacks on the extra point more Ready to kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes. That's the 21. North Carolina's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. The defense forced a turnover on downs on the last drive. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting. Six points here. Dragon is caught for the touchdown. You know, this entire group functions so well as a unit, and you saw it on that touchdown. Very good team effort. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. This close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike nine. Mike nine. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. And he's tackled at the 44. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Get that quarterback! Get off! Mike Nine! Mike Nine! Ready! Black Nine! Goes right! Picked off! And he hits him hard at the 36. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. First and 10. Ball on their own 36. The turnover bug there last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He's on the run. And down he goes, right around the 40. 
gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 40 yard line, Mike first nine. down. Mike nine. He's dead, turn right. 14, watch 14. Let's Mike go. Nice. Red 18. Red 18. Watch. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Woo! Mike Nine. Mike Nine. Red Hill. Red Hill. Red Hill. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. So the option play gets him big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find a hole and get through it. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47. Watch his flat, watch his flat. Watch his flat, watch his flat. Watch this one more. Uh, you work on the two-minute offense literally 12 months out of the... Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled at the 38. The offense calls a timeout. First down. from their own 38-yard line. First down, they'll line up with five wide receivers. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Mike nine, Mike nine. Bang out, bang out, bang out. Now he tries to buy some time. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They come out in a five-wide set. Well, that's just unbelievable defense. High game to stop that big. This late in the ball game, it looks like it's inevitable we're going to overtime. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 34-31, Tar Heel. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.